Head over to the CBS 42 Storm Team Weather Center. Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann tracking an evening of rain for some and not so much for others. That's right. The haves and the have nots. Sherry, some attend not seeing much rainfall, but what they are starting to see are the clouds growing increasingly gray off in the distance. Summiton sits in southeast Walker County. There is a little light rain shower over Jasper right now. Missing Summiton, where temperatures are still holding at 86 degrees, dew points in the mid 70s, so it feels more like the mid 90s right now in Summiton. But a few passing thunderstorms developing in the northern and eastern part of our viewing area. We'll zoom in down towards Alexander City Lake Martin. Some heavier rain moving through the northern part of Lake Martin. Then we've got some persistent showers from Lineville to Wadley right now. And Wadawi, you're relatively quiet, but a few stray showers moving through Lineville. That's going to dissipate here soon. Weaver to Anniston, back towards Raglan and Asheville. Heavy rainfall. These are not lasting all that long near Etowah County. But as we track these storms moving back towards Double Spring, this just developed, basically stretching from uh, just to the east of Brilliant over through Double Springs down towards Arley. And it was sliding south. It looks like it's kind of stalled out. It may actually stall, rain itself out as it begins to dissipate. So these storms aren't exactly moving at a fast rate of speed. The atmosphere is basically bubbling up. The storms are producing and then they're raining themselves out entirely. They're not necessarily moving in a forward motion. We can see who has had rain from Hamilton, Tuscaloosa, Mountain. Those temperatures have dropped into the 70s. Look at Gadsden now at 73. Same with Coleman at 74. Where we've stayed a bit drier, those temperatures are in the 80s, like 87 in Talladega, mid 80s in Birmingham, as well as Jasper. Stationary boundary, a bit of a culprit for the late day showers and storms. Area of low pressure that's been controlling our weather for the last few days has zipped off towards the Atlantic, and there's actually a chance that this could develop into our next named storm. It will be Bay. If it gets that storm name, it looks like over the next 48 hours, there's about a 70% chance of development. It really won't pose a threat for us here in Alabama, and actually our rain chances will subsequently be going down over the next 48 hours. Starting out dry in the 70s tomorrow, 9 a.m. temperatures in the low 80s, a few isolated storms by afternoon. Temperatures for your Thursday mid to upper 80s, and then as we hit, hit sunset Thursday night, the rain chances really begin to fizzle out. And then as we move into Friday morning, another start in the 70s, a few clouds late day, and then those afternoon showers and storms with temperatures back in the 90s for the weekend. Keep in mind, we're trading out rain chances for heat and humidity. Low 90s this weekend feels like temperatures in the low 100s. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.